Hi, I'm Dick Shinton with the Laughing Grizzly Fly Shop in Longmont, Colorado. I'd like to tie a Tar Heel caddis for you today. It's a representation of a cased caddis larva. This pattern was given to me by Josh Stevens, and uh, because he's from North Carolina, that's the, uh, th that's the uh, reason for the name of the fly. Uh, it's a very effective imitation of a cased caddis larva, and it's a, a simple tie. It uses a basic nymph hook. I like the uh, Dairiki 060, uh, a copper or black bead sized appropriately to that hook. 764 works for a 14. I use UTC 70 denier fluorescent orange thread, small size copper wire. You need an olive dyed feather of some sort. You can either use a feather from a rooster neck or a henback feather. Both work fine. And you need two types of dubbing. Uh, for this fly I prefer the hairline dubbin uh, in natural hair's ear and in caddis green. So let's start tying this fly. First step of course is to mount the hook in the vise and uh, this is a good time to pinch the barb if you fish barbless so you don't have to worry about doing it once you're on the stream once I've got my hook mounted I can start my thread right there behind the bead and you notice I don't make a lot of turns there because I don't want to fill up the back of that bead with thread and continue wrapping back this fly is unusual in that it has a tag and we run that thread about one-third of the way down the bend of the hook and return it to a point just above the barb where we're going to put in the tail. I'm going to use just a few fibers from this feather. It's a fairly sparse tail and I want the length of the tail to be approximately the gap of the hook. Make sure that that tail stays right on top of the hook as you wrap forward. I like to leave tailing materials on all the way up to the front because it makes for a smoother finished fly. Now I'm going to tie in my copper wire and you can tie it in either on your side or the far side of the hook. Right back to the tailing point. Now we'll start applying dubbing to the thread. You don't want it to be thick. These insects are fairly small and in uh, size 14 represents the size of the bugs that are in our local streams here in Rocky Mountain National Park and uh, also the Big Thompson and Poudre Rivers most of the other rivers along the Front Range so we start building that body right at the tailing point wrapping forward so we have a nice smooth body We'll bring that dubbing just up behind the bead. I notice I've left a little bit less than an eye length of space there. I'm going to counter wrap the copper wire forward. Nice even turns. I think copper is a good representation of the sand in our streams, which has a lot of mica in it. And uh, the mica tends to be kind of a golden coppery color. Now I'm going to apply the caddis green dubbing. This part of the fly represents that caddis larva peeking out of its case, probably looking for something to eat. Now I can whip finish that fly right there. Those thread wraps on the whip finish tend to go back into the back of the bead, so you don't generally end up seeing any of the thread right there 
uh, where you've finished it. The last step is to take a small brush and gently brush that green dubbing back. You clip off any ragged fibers like that. And there's the finished Tar Heel Caddis.